So, so let's get to know each other a little bit. So I'm Chris, and I like beer. So do you guys like beer? Yeah. Right. So that's good. That's good. That's great. So, but but I really like beer, right? Like I like different styles of beer, different flavors, the experience. I love making beer. I love it so much that I make it, right? I pass it out to family and friends. That's great. But I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of headaches that go with it. And I'm assuming a lot of you from from Milwaukee, and you know Milwaukee loves their beer, right? So let's go back to those headaches. So, so uh, you know, this is me like brewing in my kitchen, right? You can see five gallon jugs up there, five gallon pots. I'm filling those up. I'm transferring liquids. I'm trying to keep stuff sterilized. Let's just say it's not an easy process. Uh, this is a buddy. He he fills his in a bathtub. So if anybody wants bathtub brewed beer, let me know. He'd be happy about it. And. Uh, and if I want to continue to cre create new beer, try new beer, I need additional equipment, right? I don't always want to buy all that equipment. It's really expensive. Um, and these are established, like, people who know how to brew. Now think about people beginning brewing, right? What's the, the barrier to get the knowledge to start? You could get one of these starter kits, and I would wish you luck, because they can be really difficult. If you don't have a buddy, you can get really stuck, all right? So how do you solve these headaches? You solve these headaches with Brew you. So Brew U is a facility that provides multiple uh, brewing stations to be utilized by uh, uh, beginning brewers, new brewers, experienced brewers. So what we're pro pro providing uh, is space, uh, equipment, and uh, expertise for a cost. So here's what we did this weekend. We started out Friday night around an idea, formed a team with these guys. Uh, we put together a survey on Saturday, and we were able to get 170 responses, which was pretty good. 70% um, of those responses were either home brewers or wanted to be home brewing, but, could, but didn't know how to get started. Um, all positive feedback. We also met with some local businesses that you can see up there. Talked to the guys from Mobcraft last year. Um, everybody was positive, encouraged us to, to move forward. Uh, the market we're going after, the American Brewing Association says there's a million home brewers in the U.S. If you look at Milwaukee, there's probably around 5,000. So that would be the beginner, quote unquote beginner, quote unquote expert markets that we'd be talking to to get them to use our service. But then the other piece we need to look at is like who's interested in getting into brewing, right? So if you look at maybe males 20 to 44 in Milwaukee and take a small percentage of that, that's still 20,000 people who's interested. And we also would love to have females come in, but we're simplicity minimum viable product uh, minimum viable product this weekend so revenue uh, we have three different avenues we're, we're, uh, we're gonna do uh, the main one is gonna be a tiered monthly subscription so as I talked about uh, beginning brewers think of like thirty dollars to use some equipment um, experienced brewers fifty dollars a month to use uh, additional equipment and services um, and then also individual and group instruction you know, if you're trying to learn how to brew, you could pay a flat fee, come in for a one-on-one -on -one or a group uh, session, and you could learn. Uh, we also want to emphasize like a homebrew community with this. So we're, we're planning on a lot of monthly events. Um, you know, Bob will share his recipe, I'll share mine. Kind of what were the next steps for us, uh, we need like 90K to get this business going, something we're really excited about doing. Um, Find a location, secure location, secure some commitments from strategic partners that we talked to on Saturday. Real quick, raise your, raise your hands team. These are the, the team that I worked with this weekend. We had an awesome weekend. Uh, a lot of ups and downs, uh, more ups and downs, which is always positive. And then last, the last three points I'm going to leave you with. Uh, brewing, beer brewing's always had a long history in Milwaukee, and there's a resurgence here now. We proved validation this, this weekend, and brew you the answer. Your three minutes starts now. So part of the business model is you'll have people to use your space. Yeah. Company events? Yes. Yeah. We've kind of envisioned like uh, I work at Rockwell and we I picture like team building events, small groups coming together, making beer for you know a future occasion. Have you looked at like I know in, in Napa Valley they have kind of a similar model for wine where you can actually private label your own wine and use their equipment and grapes. And have you looked at that revenue model and see how it would translate into your revenue model? Uh, we didn't look into the wine space at all. <clears throat> we, we were focused on beer. We started out and kind of kicked back and forth wine or beer or both, or, and it kind of got too, too much. So we focused on beer. 
Um, we saw a lot of different models like this around in other cities. So, um, yeah. So I know this is obviously a product that has physical components to it, so it's difficult to build the MVP. But what did you build this weekend that you could take out tomorrow to try and get yeah, so I mean one thing we did was that that survey that I had mentioned that, that we got a lot of response for uh, This is also a live website that we put together um, Right now it says join the community, but it also comes up if I don't know if you can reload if we've got Wi-Fi, but it'll say uh, Submit ten bucks to reserve your spot and we've actually got you don't donate anything It's just kind of like when people click on it you, you get the same email um, But we've got ten people to click on it so far to try and reserve a spot um, we've got an email, I think, asking where it's at and when it's opening. So there's there's been interest. Under the laws or like the TTB, can you sell? Could you sell beer that you make in this facility to the public? No. Okay. Friends and family. That's why we all became friends in the beginning. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Yeah.